It's the annual event that brings the coffee world together. The Specialty Coffee Association Expo held this year in Boston. Hey, coffee lovers, Mark here from Whole Latte Love. With over 400 exhibitors and more than 10,000 attendees from around the world, the SCA Expo is the place to check out the latest equipment and trends in coffee, so of course we were there. While the Expo slants toward the commercial side of coffee, it's innovations in that space which filter down to home users. Things like controlling the flow rate of brew water to improve espresso extractions. Coming up, you'll get to know Danilo Lodi of Brazil. He's a judge for World Barista Championships, a barista champion trainer, and a Dalla Corte coffee pro. If you're using flow control techniques from my videos on E61 prosumer level machines, Danilo is the one who taught me the flow rate basics over the last few years. The expo ran Friday through Sunday, and Whole Latte Love was proud to be a co-sponsor of an after-show party and latte art throwdown on Friday night at the Legacy Nightclub in Boston. What a fun event. Supporting the coffee community is an important part of what we do. 64 baristas participated in the head-to-head -head single elimination challenge. For our part, through our relationships with Chiado and Dalla Corte, we brought in and set up the cutting edge grinders and machines used for the competition. The grinders, it was a Chiado E37Z Barista. This new grinder is a hopper fed zero retention grinder. Now a perfectly fresh dose from a hopper fed grinder is something never done before and a game changer for high end specialty cafes. Shots were pulled and milk frothed on two Dalla Corte Zeros. The competitors love the setup and power for milk frothing. Here's Alejandro out of Troy, New York, who won the competition. You were using like a, a Dalla Corte machine. How was the frothing on that? Oh my God, amazing. Very silky milk, I think. Having the right equipment is one of the most important tools in a barista uh, latte art competition. The lever was sexy, very sexy. Beyond incredible frothing, the Zero uses multi-boiler technology. Each group can run a different brew temperature, plus there's individual control of flow rate on each group. A specialty cafe can take a single coffee, use the same grind size, and run different flow rates on individual groups. With that, flavor is fine-tuned for, say, straight espresso on one group and an espresso to complement milk drinks on another. Here's Gabriella, who is pulling shots for the competitors. Uh, we were pulling shots all night in the Dalla Corte. It's amazing. It was sexy in every single possible way. You can control the heat, you can control the water flows, and that grinder. Oh my God, that zero waste grinder. What do you mean that you just stop and then three seconds back, you give me everything that's stuck inside? The Latte Art Throwdown was a lot of fun and we really do love supporting local coffee communities by helping put on events like this. Three, two, one! Back of the show, I spent a lot of time with Danilo. He was using the Zero to pull shots from some of the best coffees in the world. Roasters would bring by their coffees and Danilo showed them just what using different flow rates on their coffee could do. It was a who's who of specialty coffee stopping by. So many notables like George Howell, who many consider to be the godfather of specialty coffee. George has traveled the world sourcing incredible beans. I had the pleasure of talking with George at his cafe in Boston a few years ago at an event where Danilo made him an espresso from his coffee using a Dalla Corte Mina, which George described as the best shot he'd ever tasted from that coffee. Every once in a while, you can find a really ripe, ripe blackberry, and then it's the sweetest thing you've ever had. That's what this was. Right. Utter sweetness. 2021 World Brewers Cup champion Matt Witten of Switzerland got some hands on time with a zero. Matt knows coffee flavor like few others and was able to play with flow rates and pull some really nice shots. Danilo had others doing the taste test where he used the same coffee and grind with different flow rates to produce shots tuned for espresso on one group and milk drinks on another. Try this. Second shot. Yeah, same coffee, same in and out.
even though they have the same output, because of this five grams per second, doing a little bit slowly, the acidity is gonna be sharper, again, to go through the milk, mm -hmm. and the body is gonna be heavier, again, to go through the milk. One other really cool thing Danila showed me was using the Delacorte Mina to do a pour over coffee. The Mina is a commercial and prosumer level flow profiling espresso machine with the ability to use five time flow rates during an extraction. Using an app, Danilo could set an initial wetting of the grounds, then a time with no water poured to allow the coffee to bloom. He followed that with a brief higher rate flow for turbulence to mix things up and then a gentle flow to complete the pour over. Well, pour over is generally a manual process. Using the Mina, Danilo set up a hands-free, repeatable profile with consistent timing, flow rates, and water volumes. The show is great. You know, I've been an advocate for the power flow has on espresso extractions, and my experience there once again increased my knowledge. Thanks, Danilo. Now, even if you don't have a machine like the Mina or the Zero, the basic principles are applicable to the E61 Group prosumer level machines with flow control so many of you are using. Done a bunch of videos with the simple ways to improve your espresso using flow control. Check out a couple of those down in the description. Now, after the SCA Expo, we weren't quite done with Danilo. I followed him to one of New York City's finest cafes, that's Devotion in Williamsburg, Brooklyn. If you have the opportunity, do check it out. A couple of times a week, they airship in the finest Colombian coffees. They roast these on premises and typically serve within 10 days. This kind of operation is incredibly rare and the coffees, they are stunning. Danilo was there to introduce the staff to the Zero and demonstrate what flow can do for their special coffees. The staff was loving it. You get a feeling if you stop by Devotion, at some point in the future, you might see the Zero front and center on the bar. Now, before I go, a couple of shout outs. Gotta mention our own Nick, Brian, and Todd. You may have seen them in our other videos and they are the passionate crew that pulled off the throwdown and the expo. Todd, you are a beast, perhaps the hardest working and most knowledgeable machine guy on the planet. Danilo, buddy, you are a true coffee pro. Thanks for putting up with me for a few days and once again sharing your knowledge. Much of what I bring to you guys about Better Espresso using Flow is based on what Danilo has taught me. Working out of Brazil, he travels the world making coffee better. And how about the specialty coffee community? From the camaraderie of the competitors at the Latte Art Throwdown to meeting up with old friends and making new ones among the roasters, manufacturers, and champions at the Expo. Those involved with specialty coffee are a very close-knit group. And last up, you guys watching this. You know, this channel has a community of people who get involved in the comments. No, we here at Whole Lot They Love do appreciate you, and we're here to help you out, whether you're just getting into coffee or looking to take your knowledge to the next level. Well, that's my wrap from the SCA Expo. I'm looking forward to spreading around what I learned this year and hearing from you in the comments. I'm Mark, thanks for watching. You know, if you love coffee and espresso as much as I do, be sure and subscribe, and I'll see you back here soon for more of the best on everything coffee, Brought to you by Whole Latte Love.